G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it's product review time again, and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. On the menu, King Size Power Bowl. I got the slow cooked lamb in a red wine sauce. How good does that sound? So apparently this is like high in protein and a smart carb. So it's got a bit of a spiel on it. So let's see what that says. Satisfy your king size appetite with on the menu power balls. Fill up on high protein, which helps boost muscle mass and smart carbs. It release energy slowly so you can power on. Oh yeah. Now the good thing about this is 450 grams, so it's not uh, like a small meal. It's quite a decent weight. Let's see actually what the ingredients are in it, because I'd like to know how much lamb is in this dish. Let's see. Okay, first up, there's sweet potato mash. Oh, no, not sweet potatoes. Ah, I don't like sweet potatoes. Okay, let's take this back and another one. Uh, la da da dee dee, double e doo bit doo. Raw sugar, what? Why is it so high up there? Ah, oh, red wine sauce, 22%. Where's the meat? Tomato paste, red wine thickener. Meat, meat, where are you? Whoosh, shea, 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 I like that stuff. Garlic herbs, celery, ground, spice, colour, where's the meat? Lamb shank, 12%! Uh... I wanted 49%! Green beans, 16% and broccoli, 7%. Oh, that, that sounds pretty good actually. But I wonder how many kilojoules it's got. Let's see. So energy, 1,500 kilojoules. Wow, that's good. That means I could have like uh, about six of these every day and stay within my uh, daily average kilojoule intake. Protein, 25 grams, 12 grams of fat, carbs, 35 grams, and sugar, 6.3 grams. Oh, jeez. With sodium, 1,020 milligrams. That's uh, At least that's under your daily average intake. So... I mean, uh, it's looking okay. The ingredients look good and, um, well, uh, the, 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 the nutrition looked all right too. So how about we take it out of the packet and see what it looks like? Yeah. Now I have seen these in the shops for quite a while and I've always wanted to try one. So today's my lucky day. Ugh. Oh, what is that? Looks like a big solid chunk maybe of that red wine sauce. Uh, there's the veggies and I think that could be the meat down there. Anyway. It looks pretty good. How do we cook this? Microwave from freezer. Remove bowl from cardboard sleeve. Alrighty. Place bowl in the microwave. Do not pierce film. Okay then. Heat on high, 1000 watts, 6 minutes and 45 seconds. What if my microwave doesn't go up in increments of 5 seconds? Then what? Take out from microwave, carefully remove film, stir sauce and land, then return to microwave. Heat on high for 1000 watts for another 2 minutes, then leave stand for 2 minutes. Alrighty. Make that in. So six minutes and 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Gee, you're lucky I've got a one second counter, folks. Very lucky. All right, so the six minutes, 45 seconds is up. The lid's popped off itself. Just gotta peel that back and what is this? Oh, that's the um, sweet potato. Ah, it wasn't the it wasn't the sauce at all. So we need to just give this a, a bit of a mix. There's still a little bit of iciness in there, I can feel. But I tell you what, this kitchen smells so good. So we just got to put this back in the microwave. Now I'm not sure if I'm supposed to remove that film. It sort of says I should, but I don't want it spraying all over the inside of my microwave. Goodness me. I'll just give it another couple of minutes. All right, well, here we have it. Ugh. Well, it smells really nice. Does it look anything like it does on the photo? Well, kind of. I mean, there's lots of nice, whatever that is, sweet potato. I wish it was pumpkin, that would have been good. You know, the beans and the broccoli. But check out this meat. I mean, it's nice big chunks of meat in there. And, well, there's one, two, three, four, four big ones and then a couple of smaller ones there. But, mate, it looks nice. Even the sweet potato looks pretty good. Anyway, 
I'd better start off with the sweet potato. Mmm. Well, that tastes all right. Mm, I, I think I like sweet potato now. <laughs> but it's this piece of slow cooked lamb that I'm really interested in. See how tender it is. Whoa, mate. That just melted on my tongue. That is so tender. Let me get some of this red wine sauce. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes, uh, it's got quite a strong taste of red wine in there, actually. Wow. I wouldn't want to be driving somewhere after eating one of these. Wow. Hmm. I mean, the beans are all right. And the broccoli is pretty good. Wow. 450 grams worth. That's a decent sized meal. Right, well, let's try a, a lamb sauce, veggies, and sweet potato mix. Hmm, man, this is pretty good. Considering it's on the menu, which we all know isn't the greatest. This is probably one of their better ones that I've had and made it. I think I picked it up on half price for three bucks 75 or something. So it's normally $7 or something. But uh, mate, this is really good. And would I get another one of these again? Well, yes, I would. In fact, I did buy two at the same time. I got this other one, Beef in Belgian Ale. I should have done that one. If you want me to review this one as well, let me know down below. But yeah, this is really nice. I'd definitely get these again. Keep some in the freezer. I mean, this would probably be one of my most preferred frozen meals, actually. It's, it's really good. And if it's got all the protein and carbs, it's a healthy meal and well, you'll never have to cook again. <laughs> but there you go, the on the menu king size power bowls. Well worth trying if you're into foods like this. I thought it was really good. Anyway, that's all today. I hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more food reviews and I'll see you next time for my next product review. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are